the side key here is not working in your Samsung A14. The first way to fix it is we're just going to keep on tapping it repeatedly really hard with our nails. Now for you, you may be tapping it, but you know, it's not moving. But if you keep on repeating this motion, eventually you may notice that the power button will slowly start to loosen up and slowly start to tap. So we'll just keep on doing this for a while, give it two minutes, see if that helps. If not, we can get our fingernail and just rub it all the way across the sides of the power button. So maybe gunk all the way across. You can even see the gunk coming out on this power button. So maybe gunk on the side. So just rub your nail to try and get that all out. So just try that. And then we'll repeat the previous step. See if that helps. If still not working, we will need to get some cleaning isopropyl alcohol, which I unfortunately don't have on me. You could wet a towel or just a cloth with that isopropyl alcohol. Make sure it's 99%, not 70%. And then you just want to get that alcohol to go in the device. I remember once using vodka, I'm not even joking, and I put some vodka in, you know, dropped it in, and then I started doing the pressing on the power button. Well, back in my day, it was the iPhone 4, and the home button wasn't clicking. And then just by repeatedly clicking with that isopropyl alcohol, slowly dripping in, make sure to add just a few drops. Don't like go crazy with it, otherwise you may cause damage. But a few drops is great. You don't use water because water can damage the hardware components and cause corrosion. Isopropyl alcohol can go on a phone. It won't cause any problems, okay? So just, as long as it's... Not a crazy amount. Just go in, give that a shot. That should hopefully fix the power button not working. If you can't get this to work, then you can replace the power button with your volume button. So first, open your settings and then tap on the search and search for double tap. And then turn on firstly, double tap to turn off screen and double tap to turn on screen. Then you can double tap to turn off, double tap to turn on, which is really cool. Then what we can also do is open the Play Store, search for power button to volume, and then download the power button to volume app. This is free. And so what it would do is it will reprogram your volume down button to be a power button. So we will open the app once it has installed, and we do need to do some setup. So we see this one, accessibility permission allowed, tap on enable permission, and then once we are here, select the installed apps option, then tap on power button and make sure this one is on and allow. You don't need to allow the power button shortcut. So we'll tap on okay, and then allow the app to run in the background, and now, what we're going to do is we see the volume down, tap on this one, and then we can either set this to open a power menu or to turn off the screen. So now when we click volume down, it turns off the screen, and we double tap to wake it.